What I really want to talk to you about today is about uh, video. And as you can see, I have been quite active on my channel recently. And the reason for that is obviously because I come out of my wedding season. And now that I have more time in my hand, I can dedicate more time to the channel and try to move on with things now. Now, the uh, start of the vlogs is something which I wanted to do because I think it can provide just a bit more than what I normally do on the reviews, where it's really focused on one product, on one, one review, and that is pretty much it. I think that the advantage of the blog for, for you guys, you know, who are possibly photographer, want to be a photographer, is that you cannot get a peek, you know, in the daily life of a professional photographer. And despite me not showing everything, um, more I'm going to go on with this video, more you're going to see. Obviously, I'm still trying to figure out uh, the way to bring those vlogs, uh, which are not daily, which I don't plan to do daily, but interesting, where I can really bring some subject of interest and uh, some interest to someone who possibly wants to set up his own business and uh, want to progress in, in his work. One thing which I mentioned a couple of weeks ago, I don't know if you remember, but I've posted a very short video with me and a stabilizer here. And stabilization in video is one of the main uh, sign of quality here. I'm on a little tripod here, so everything is nice and stable. If I take, if I have someone holding the camera behind like that, without having the the lens uh, IS on, it will just look very unprofessional. Here, it looks much better. It's stable. When I walk around, I do use this uh, little tripod. I put the stabilization on, and it gives me some kind of some kind of a smooth shot but we can do much better with this. And my project uh, with the video this year is try to uh, take the video to another level, on my level I'm talking about, uh, where I can utilize the equipment I have because I have lots of video equipment and I don't really use it. And the reason for that is because, well, I'm a photographer. I'm a photographer, so, you know, uh, videos have been a tool which I've been using for my channel and for other things, but really it's never been uh, something I wanted, I've done professionally. And at the moment, I'm not looking to do this professionally, but I am looking to improve my work, to improve the quality of what I'm doing and to learn about it because it's completely different than photography. So uh, with that said, let me show you the equipment I am planning to use to talk to you about today and to test to see uh, what is best, what can work for what shot. Let's do it. Right, so as you can see, I have quite a bit of equipment and this is not including the sound equipment I have, which I will probably talk to you about. But today was about stabilization and this is what I can use to stabilize my shots. So let's talk about the first thing, which is the monopod. And that is probably, and this is probably the most used tool because, well, you can put your camera and it can give you a good stabilization within and you can still get some movement. Right, the, the way a monopod, a monopod works is pretty simple. So you put your camera there and the great thing is you can get some really smooth shots going up, going down. Uh, going side to side and even turning with giving some panning so you can see from those I'm gonna put some footage so those footage here are simply using the monopod turning going from one side to another and as you can see you know you get something which is pretty smooth now you have certain monopods which have like a three feet at the bottom uh, man photo does some after this one is it's a photo pro uh, carbon fiber and I've got a man photo head on top uh, now the best heads for videos are the one with the long arms because you can get much smoother uh, tilt but the thing is on monopod it doesn't really work this way this would be very good on uh, on a tripod for example so that is the monopod the second one I want to talk to you about is obviously the tripod. Now I'm not going to go into detail with the tripod, you know exactly what a tripod does. You put your camera on top of it and as I mentioned before, 
you know, you can get a head with a long, uh, long arm and that allows you to get something very smooth. Very good shots if you want to go from panning from one side to another and getting something very stable. Obviously, uh, monopods and tripods are not exactly the best for moving shots. So for example, you're not going to be uh, running with your tripod or your monopod. That doesn't work. This is really for stable shots where you are in one place, one position, and you're following uh, where you're shooting. That could be, for example, for racing or anything like that. Now, this one is one of my favorite. I've not used it so much and I'm quite disappointed. This is made by Konova. They sent me this for me to do a review. And I've done the review, which was, I've got to say, pretty quick, but it was pretty cool. I used it on, um, on a skate park and I had some great shots. It was quite fun to use as well. So uh, I do recommend you check out the video. This is kind of a, a dolly on wheel here. So you put your camera there. It goes woof. obviously you need a very small uh, smooth uh, surface but once you get this this will just nicely uh, nicely roll like you will see now uh, the way I used it when I did the review was on the ramp and the skating board so what I did I put a camera like that and I just let it go and you just went like that like that following the, the skater it was pretty cool shots uh, obviously this lost some speed at the with it but there are really some great things you can do with it there is also a way to turn the wheel here and to uh, move the, the wheel to be able to make it turn or do whatever you want is to turn or follow something that is turning uh, the other thing you can also use it with is um, what I'm planning to do which I've not used is use uh, those kind of uh, timer uh, which is turning and attach it to it so what we will do it will slowly uh, go and that could be quite good for time lapse i don't know as i say you know i've got all this equipment here which is standing there and i'm not using it uh, so i'm really planning to take this uh, as i mentioned the video forward and use all this to make it to make some nice and creative shot plus uh, Konova, i don't know the model number the skate dolly i don't know this I think you're guessing pretty much what is it. It's big, it's not very practical, it's not very uh, easy to carry, it's heavy, but it has its purpose. This is a slider. And a slider. Whoa. Hasn't been used for some time, as you can see. So what you do is, you put again your head here, then your camera, and then this will just slide. Yeah, uh, and there are different ways to use this. Obviously, this is a bit. I'm gonna have to uh, give it a good clean and a good grease uh, for it to be nice and smooth. But this is really, really good if you want to get some nice panning shots uh, going up to down. I've also used it this way, where the, the camera goes up. Very, very good tool. The only thing is time to get used to it and uh, to really get. A good way to uh, make it work. On the side I have got those uh, things which you put on the side and I can make it up or down. It's, it's really good and as you can see, as you will see from the shots which I've done with it, it's, it does give a very nice effect. Uh, I really really like this tool. Again a tool I'm not using much but I really want to get into it. One of the great things for to use this is use an elastic. So you put an elastic around your camera and you pull it. And this will create some uh, very smooth traction instead of using your hand, which can be a bit difficult. So that is the slide. This one is also made by Konova, I think. <coughs> this is the Camtree slide Slider SH3 6016. Uh, I think it's Konova that does it. And yeah, um, I'm very happy with it. I mean, it does what it's supposed to do. Uh, you can get lots of different models. As I mentioned before, you know, the, the market is flooded with equipment. Uh, there is new brand coming out nearly every month. Uh, so, so do your research and see what's good for you. The cost for this product was quite low. Uh, so it was good for what I was doing it. Uh, you know, if you're, use, if you're using this every day, yeah, go for the best tool possible. But if you're using this, 
once every six months or for the odd project, well, just spend what you think is right. So that is the slider. Okay, and this is the last product I wanted to show you today. This is the MG by Feiyu Tech. Okay, so recently they've come out with a, a second version. There is one which is for the heavier equipment and one which is for the smaller equipment. Now, I've used this with the Fuji X-T1, works well. I've used this with the Canon, which was the video I made uh, last time, and it works well. I do have a few issues with it, but um, it's not too bad, you know. It's, I'm trying to understand how it works, but anyway. This is a motorized gimbal. I think that's how you call it. So what you do is you place your camera here, and you've got different way to set it up. The way I like to use this, I will show you. Okay, three, two, one, go. pretty much the way I like to use it so there is uh, obviously this is battery operated the batteries go in there and it, it, the quality is great of this product I think I've put it the wrong way something here. but yeah I did uh, it doesn't really matter but what you do is you hold it like that you can hold it like this uh, where you could in theory you hold it like that but you don't but there is a lot of different position which you can do and use so that's really really good it also comes with a little remote control so if you need it to control it from a distance um, well you can do it and it works pretty well i've not actually used the remote control much but uh, if you are two operators and you have one with a camera one with an external monitor and this it, it could work i don't know um, and this is probably the best i have and that is the best for moving shots. So the slider is very good for all, all the equipment I show you is very good for uh, standing shots. But anything moving, so we've got the, the skate, uh, the dolly skate here with the four wheels, which is good for shoot where you really need to follow because the, after what's going to happen after is that the, uh, the speed is going to drop. So, but this obviously when because you are holding it, you can follow. Uh, your subject around and that uh, I've been dying to really use it with full potential but the thing is that video work is not that easy I have lots of respect for people who are making videos because I know how difficult it is I know how clumsy is the equipment I know how it's just not easy and which is good because obviously you know the competition is hard and my purpose here is not to make a living out of video but I really want to make something nice and learn about it so here are all the equipments I'm planning to use for stabilization in my next and future videos I hope the example show you about a bit what they are all about see today has been really about this I wanted to make that video for a long time uh, I knew it was gonna take time to go through all the equipment and it's not too much of a vlog it's more of a stabilization but I hope you uh, find uh, some good out of it. And yes, I will try to incorporate uh, some of this equipment in my future videos and future vlogs. If you have any questions, post them down below.